The City of Melbourne has recently approved a, a, an urban forest strategy. This went through, through Council in 2012 and, and really forms the basis along with our open space strategy and, and total watermark, which is our, our water strategy, in, in informing Council's response to the challenges that are coming through from, from urban heat island, from climate change, and to, to really add to and ensure that the resilience of the city and the livability of city is there for future generations. This is a, a legacy time for Council. We've been incredibly fortunate to receive the, the, the legacy of decisions from people like Charles Latrobe 150 years ago that set aside open space and, and plant, planted significant numbers of trees. The time of those landscapes is coming to an end. The, the, the millennium drought has really accelerated the decline of many of our older trees. So we're now faced with how do we create the future and what does that look like? And, and so in a sense, what we're looking to do is to create a, a, a city that's in a forest rather than a forest in the city. And we say that because we recognise that the green infrastructure and the, and the, the matrix within that is, is essential and, and the green infrastructure is essential infrastructure just as transport and communications is to, to ensure that the health and wellbeing of the community is maintained. Trees are the most important greening element that we've got in a city. If we can double our tree canopy cover, we can decrease urban temperatures by four to five degrees C. It's the most smartest way to go and it's the most economically proficient way to go. And the community have, have an extraordinary relationship with, with green in, in all its forms, with trees almost being that symbolic element that everybody can associate with. The City of Melbourne recognises that, that, that trees are perhaps the most important element of green infrastructure that we can have in the city. Why is this? Well, 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 trees in essence contribute enormously to the health and well-being of the community and to the livability of the city and they do it in economic ways, they do it in environmental ways and they do it in social ways. From an economic perspective, there's, there's a huge amount of research that talks about public perception and action in spaces that are, that are well treated being, being much more so than, than spaces without. The work of Kathleen Wolf in the US, for example, talks about shopping strips that have trees versus shopping strips that don't have trees. And people that are in the well treated spaces spend more money, spend more time, and think they get better value out of it. Trees can also cool the city and so that they will reduce the impact of, of extreme heats on, on the functionality of the city. Trees are also incredibly good at, at interception of rainfall so they can decrease flood events, they clean the air, they decrease temperatures in buildings that surround them. So from a, an economic perspective, they, they reduce resource requirements to go in. They naturally air condition, clean the city, keep it dry and, and, and keep it fresh and healthy. From a, from a personal perspective, the, the health and well-being of a community is, is intrinsically tied to the green, what's around it. That biophilic innate response that we have to nature really connects in both our physical, mental, spiritual and, and intellectual sort of well-being. And so what the council's done is to recognise that trees, as the most important greening element, are going to be beneficial across the board in many, many ways. What we're doing is, in a sense, taking the, the knowledge that green is good through a myriad of research and taking that and translating it into outcomes on the ground. Our relationship with the community and through our tree planting programs and through our citizen forester programs is, is going to the heart of reconnecting people with nature, with trees at the heart of that process. The other component of our work is ensuring that these trees are resilient and that they have plenty of water. Without adequate supplies, regular supplies, continuous supplies of water, we can't have the environmental service benefit out of the green infrastructure that we really need. 